art attack? This is an art attack. This is art attack. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Art Attack, the big art show that gives your eyeballs a shock. Oh, are you? I am OK. And you? I am OK, too. I'll see you to OO. You ever done that? Look at car number plates, and sometimes they spell out silly words. Or if you say it quickly, part of a sentence, like, I'll see you to OO. I'll see you tomorrow. Get it? Well, customised number plates like this can cost thousands of pounds, so why not make your own? All you need is a piece of card big enough to draw a rectangle 30 centimetres by about 10 centimetres, the size of a number plate. And then you just draw your letters inside. You can draw part of a silly word, or you can even include your name, if you can work that out. And what I'm going to do here is just put in the screw for the number plate there and the other side. All adds to the authenticity. And there it is. It says I-M-N-E-L. And if you say it fast, I am a Neil. In other words, I am Neil. When you've got it to that stage, you can cover it with this sticky back plastic. You know the stuff that gets everywhere and you're getting a terrible mess with it? Well, I'm not going to do it now. I've already done it. There it is. It gives it this brilliant glossy finish. Then you need some of this wood adhesive. Now you can get this from do-it-yourself stores or good art and craft shops. And it's just a case of squeezing it onto the pencil lines on your designed number plate. Doesn't matter if it goes a little bit wobbly. I don't think the screw. Because what happens is if you leave it to dry overnight, the wood glue tends to spread out to just about the right size for number plate letters. There it is. I'll just do that bit to show you there. If you leave it to dry overnight, next day it'll look something like this. And you see you've got this brilliant raised surface and all the wood glue has gone very hard. Then take a permanent marker and just colour in black all over. It doesn't matter if you go over this edge at all. We'll keep it off the rest of the number plate. Now the reason I say a permanent marker is because it covers much better than an ordinary water-based marker. And sometimes you might have to go over it twice there. And of course, permanent marker doesn't rub out and it dries with a shiny finish. Don't forget the screw. And you keep going over all the letters of your number plate. Let's finish it there. When you're finished, you can cut it out and you have something that looks like that. There it is. Your own customised number plate. I M N E L. I'm Neil. And what do you do with it when you're finished with it? Come and have a look at this. You stick it on the front of your bike. But do yourself a favour. If it starts to rain, don't forget to take it in. And what if you haven't got a bike? Well, you could always put it on the front of your bedroom door. Mess around with all the letters. There's loads of different names you can try. I am Ellen. I am Stevie. I am NIJL. You are a BB. <laughs> I had such fun doing that. I got my yellow card, stuck on sticky backed plastic, squeezed out the wood glue, and then coloured over the top of it. It's great. Look, I am dead. <laughs>